Aquarians out there, please make sure to get my book on Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. So the cards that uh, I come up with are, let's get into it, are the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Death card, ooh, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Emperor, Six of Cups, okay, the Moon, and last but not least, the Hangman, ooh, okay, intense reading for you Aquarians. So the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Death card. The Ten of the Ten of, of uh, Cups represents how it, it it represents your perspective. Okay, it represents how you are experiencing the world, how you are experiencing your own existence. Right. The Seven of Pentacles represents that you Aquarians are patiently waiting, patiently, obviously, for some sort of to 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 some sort of outcome, some sort of enlightenment some sort of understanding the death card represents uh the death card represents uh th well this is actually very important to the reading because the death card represents um be behind or i should say not behind but beyond duality right beyond duality so it represents so it represents the mentality that what the death card represents here is that you Aquarians, which is a which is what Aquarius represents, Aquarius represents understanding that you are beyond just a human being. You are a you are a a a, a, a cosmic entity having a human experience. That's what Aquarius represents. Scorpio is just a reminder of that with what? Death. So the death card, right? It's just a reminder of that. Things physically are finite. That's why people make the transition. So what happens here is, is that you have to understand, my dear Aquarius, that whatever it is that you're having some sort of issue about, your answer, whether it's love, whether it's finances, whether whatever it is that you're having a particular problem with, is past or beyond duality. Look at it for what it actually is. It's not about right or wrong, good and evil. What it's about is functionality. Is the choices that you are making functional to, to what exactly you are trying to get to? And the death card is a reminder of that. What you are supposed to be getting to is the understanding that whatever, I guess, relationship that you are going through, finances, right, whatever it may be, you're in a situation where the function, you can either control the function or the function will move just the same, no matter if you try to freak it, okay? Uh, or, right, you can choose to change it, but ultimately, ultimately, it's up to you. The Five of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles represents how some of you Aquarians will, will make the transition to move forward, right? I guess you could be some sort of relationship and you'll make the transition to move forward. Five of Pentacles, you're done with the situation. The Three of Pentacles represents how you... may need some sort of space from a particular significant other. And the best way that you're doing that is to uh, um, assort yourself with some friends, right? Hang out with some friends, right? Or family members or the people who are close to you, right? The, the more than likely it's gonna be friends because family members, they're just as messed up sometimes. You know what I mean? Now the Four of Wands and the Emperor represents how this is a situation where the Four of Wands and the Emperor is about the work that you are supposed to be doing, okay? You are, you are supposed, because the Wands and the Emperor, Emperor represents Aries, Wands represents fire. So there, so a lot of fire in this reading, okay? What this is supposed to represent is you burning down, 
the dysfunctional connections, the dysfunctional emotional connections that you have towards a significant other and understand and put it into perspective. This is why it is that I started talking about perspective. Perspective, perspective, perspective is very important because you have to ask yourself or you should ask yourself at the end of the day, is, is are these choices, what, what exactly are the points to these choices? Because what you're supposed to be doing here, my dear Aquarians, and this is what Aquarius represents. See, the zodiac signs from Aries to through Capricorn is all about everything that a person can do in a lifetime. And then Aquarius and Pisces represents, Aquarius represents the understanding that it's time for you to make the physical transition, if you know what I mean. And then Pisces represents actually making that transition. You understand? Actually, you know what I mean? Making it, making that transition. So Aquarius, okay, y'all in this, y'all in this reading, or I should say in general, represents how what you're supposed to be doing is doing that emotional work. This is why, as I said, Aquarian individuals, they try to act like they tough a lot of them, right? But in actuality, air signs are just as messed up and it's just as attached as, as the other elements. It's just that the air signs have a unique disposition compared to the other elements because they are the, they are the ones that is, that is supposed to have this understanding. So their existence is ironic because it's supposed to represent how are you Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and you know you're going to be going through many heartbreaks, but the heartbreak is to create that, 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 that void. But I'm not talking about a void in the sense that a dysfunctional void, but it, but when I say void, I mean that level of compassion, that understanding, that that existence, that that form of existence for you, where you understand that we are in a human condition, uh, in a human condition, and it's time to and it's time to it's it's time to learn about those uh, those emotions so that you can learn to detach from them. So when you so. When you make the physical transition, if you know what I mean, you don't have to continue to reincarnate suffering and doing the same thing. So you Aquarians, right, Six of Cups, y'all got a lot of stuff coming up for you where, or happening now where you, you need to start making some serious decisions about love. What is it that you really want? See, the reason why it is that love is messed up today, right? People have problems with relationships is because you've been terrorized basically from your family, your friends, the people at school who peer pressured you to do something, bullied you, right? From following who you are, your own instincts and your feelings and being 100 or honest with yourself about who you are and where you're disposition is so with that being said that's what created the problem and the reason why it created the problem is the reason why it created the problem is because what's next is you've been through all of us been through so much to the point where to, to the point where our creativity and our honesty got stifled so it got it got smothered. So you Aquarians have some serious um, decisions to make about love. The moon and the hangman represents how they will most definitely be intense. It would be intense. Let's clarify the uh, the uh, it would be intense, and it's not going to be quite comfortable or pleasurable. No matter what decision you make, there's going to be a, a sacrifice. And I am ready to make that sacrifice if I have to. <laughs> it's all relative. So the cards, okay, so let's clarify the moon, as I said before. Now the moon, the moon represents that emotional baggage that you have to 
work through and the hangman represents the time that it's going to take and having to take some time from that. Now you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and then you have the Seven, excuse me, the Queen of Swords. So this is about how a lot of you Aquarians happen to be in a situation right now where what you what you uh, what you want to do is you want to understand that um, the that the substance that you are making for yourself is from you. And that you ultimately have to make your own lives mean something to you. The Five of Swords represents, yes, the the you were surrounded by enemies, but this but at the same time, the Queen of Swords represents how you have to not try to lash out at everything and everyone and learn to heal from your trauma. This is why it is a lot of people say who hurt you or whatever the case may be. On one particular level, they're trying to humiliate it. But that, but on a serious note, that's an actual real question that everyone really has to come to grips with with themselves if they want to evolve. This is the reason why it is that you've seen me personally, you've seen me change so much on camera, right? Or the minutes that you share with me is because this is me making the transition on a spiritual level where I'm experiencing that ego death, where I went from being this to now being evolved because I'm past certain traumas now. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace.